and welcome to LFC Focus. It is FIFA 18 prediction showtime. Liverpool are taking on Southampton at the St. Mary Stadium on Sunday. And here is the team that I think they are going to put out for this game. Obviously, if you want to know more reasons why I've picked these players, then do check out the pre-match video as well. But yeah, Alexander Arnold coming in for Joe Gomez, who is injured for this game. There's the midfield I think we're going to go with. I reckon Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain comes in to add a little bit more attacking impetus. Obviously, he had a very disappointing substitute performance against Spurs. Hopefully, he could do something a little bit better than that. And then I've gone with Lovren and Van Dijk as the centre-back pairing, which should be interesting. Be interesting to see how they get on. So yeah, there's the starting eleven. There is your substitutes bench as well. A few players that I reckon might get a little bit of game time. You know, Lallana might come on if Jurgen Klopp sees fit. I reckon Ings could come on potentially. You know, obviously, if he's going to be Liverpool's backup striker, he needs a few minutes here or there. So yeah, bench, starting eleven. Let's see if we can get the win that Liverpool need this weekend. So obviously playing on world class again, like we did in the last FIFA predicted, to try and just spice things up a little bit, make it competitive, make it a wee bit difficult, and hopefully still get the win. Hmm, Firmino. Can he break through the defence here? He's having a go. Have a shot, Roberto Firmino! What an absolute belter of a shot. That is absolutely cannoned into the top corner of the net. That was brilliant from Liverpool's Brazilian maestro number nine. Wow! You know, I didn't think the shot was on there. They were they were getting a little bit tight. I wasn't sure, but whew, what a strike. Threat coming down the wings here. Watch out for that. Good save, Loris. Easy peasy. Another big game for Loris Carriers here. Disappointed not to see him collect that clean sheet against Spurs after what was a very good performance. So it'd be nice to see him pick one up in this match. Oh, Mane. Drill it in. Oh, cut. Well, whoops. I didn't mean to foul him. I, j I just wanted to drill across and it didn't really work. Oh, get him, Robertson. Good tackle, but rubbish pass. Please be offside, please be offside. Oh, no! What a save from Loris Carrius there. No idea how the ball managed to sneak through my entire defence, but Loris Carrius saves their bacon there. That was good stuff from the German keeper. And now we're on the attack here, crossing into the box. Mane's open, and we've got two. How on earth was Sadio Mane left alone in the box there? Just completely free for the header. The goalie didn't come for it either, but who cares? 2-0 up. That is good stuff. Lovely header from Sadio Mane as well. Missed a couple against Huddersfield. Disappointed not to see him get a goal in that match. Making amends here. Fingers crossed he can do the same. Because obviously not in a great patch of form. Sadio Mane would be nice to just start. Seeing him getting in amongst the goals a little bit more regularly. And slowly inching his way back to what will be full form. Get him Virgil. Oh, let him through it. Oh no, not a... No, 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 no. Oh! Some very strange noises coming out of my mouth there. I won't even try to explain them, but there was... Panic is uh, probably the best way to describe it. Still going on here. Need to clear these, these dangers. Southampton having way too much of the ball in some very... Oh, Virgil! You pranny! Why have you gone through the back of him like that? You donut. I mean, I wanted a tackle, but kind of like... Get your leg round him like that. Don't just kick him in the back of the legs. We're going to need some more Loris Carrius antics. If we're going to stop this, he's going that way. He's so going that way. Oh, no. He wasn't going that way. So, Southampton back in the game. I mean, I guess I've got to take a little bit of a little bit of uh, the blame for the penalty. Uh, oh, well. I mean, just got to make sure that we don't let them completely back into the game. Obviously, a one-goal lead is better than a no-goal lead. But I think just see it through to half-time. Keep things a little bit calmer. They had a lot of pressure there. Didn't deal with it very well. Going to need to improve on that. Jordan's making a run here. Roberto's making a run here. What can he do? Roberto, for me... Oh, for God's sake. No, he think How was he offside? Oh, it must have been tight. He looked pretty much on. Just played the pass a tiny bit too late. Sergio Mane making the run again here. Mane, is he through? Is he through? Mane, finish that off. Oh, ho, ho, that is a nice finish 
from Sadio Mane. Very, very lovely stuff. Cheekily tucks it into the near post, which isn't quite what I asked for. I wanted it far post, but I mean, who cares if he's scoring goals like that? A great game for Sadio Mane so far. Would be just over the moon if he does this in the real thing, especially against his former club as well. But yeah, fantastic response to the Southampton goal there. Restored the two-goal cushion. Hopefully we can see this through to half-time. Tackle in! Yes! Crunching from Emre Jan there. Okay, we're going to counter who's available. Mo Salah is hurtling down that right-hand side. Oh, is he going to be through here? Mo Salah, get this right, get this right. Send that into the bottom corner! <sighs> close. Very close from Mohamed Salah there. A blistering counter-attack. Tore Southampton to shreds there. Just couldn't quite apply the finish. But hopefully we can do so later on in the match. Okay, well... A decent first half, all things considered. A little bit disappointed to have conceded the goal, but when you score three like that, you know, you can't have too many complaints. It was pretty good play from us, you know, just cutting through Southampton like a knife through butter at times. The counter-attack obviously is helping. They need to get back into this game. Southampton in real life will absolutely need some sort of result from this game, being in the relegation zone and all that. But yeah, very good first half. Here's hoping for something similar in the second. So the stats may be there suggesting we've got a little bit lucky. Obviously, Southampton have had more shots. All of our shots on target so far have gone into the net, but personally I think we've just created some very, very high quality chances in that game and finished them off very well. So yeah, fingers crossed for something better in the second half and hopefully no big Southampton resurgence. Oh, bad foul. Oh no, they're still playing on. <sighs> Play to the whistle. Play to the whistle. Is what I should have done. Unfortunately, played the foul. Thought they were going to get the free kick. Southampton played on. And they're back in the game again. Well, I mean, it's not short on excitement, is it? Maybe a little bit too tense for my liking. But we'll just have to do what we did last time. Go up the other end and score another. Who's this? Emre Jan. Sadio Mane is making another lovely run in behind. Just belt that in. Sadio, go on! <sighs> Whew! Sadio Mane's having a fantastic game. Not sure how he managed to keep the ball there with all those defenders around him. But he got... The shot away. And I'm just disappointed that he didn't quite manage to tuck it in. That was very lovely stuff from Sadio Mane. Certainly the man of the match so far. I think that's the kind of thing that Mane needs. You know, there's, there's, there, there are people saying that, you know, they think that he'll get a goal and suddenly we'll be seeing the old Sadio Mane again and that this difficult patch of form will just go away. Personally, I don't think a goal's going to do it. This patch has just been, it's been going on for too long now that one goal isn't going to solve it. We've seen he scored a couple goals and still hasn't got out of this rut. I think what he really needs is that kind of man of the match performance. He needs to just be the absolute main fella for Liverpool again, and then hopefully that will bring back the Sadio Mane that we know and absolutely love. I'm going to switch to balanced from attacking because Southampton's pressure just, you know, getting a wee bit too much, and I think we don't necessarily need to score again to win the match, so... Oh! <sighs> Nearly would have had to do so there. Fortunately got away with a goal kick. After another threatening position for Southampton. That's what I mean. Just want to balance things out a little bit. And stop us clinging on by a thread. Like we have been doing over the last 20 minutes or so. Who's in there? Mo Salah. Have a go Mo. That was a nice shot. Unfortunately blocked. Oh Robertson been caught short there. That's my own fault. Virgil van Dijk doesn't get the tackle on. Virgil van Dijk! Oh, what a tackle from Virgil there. That was much more like it from the absolute main fella at the back for Liverpool. Robertson, sensible. Track him carefully here. Do not let him get the better of you. Robbo, how are you letting him get that cross in? Henderson, you win that. Jordan. Oh, please be a corner. Okay, Dejan, away, away, away. Henderson's injured. We don't care at this stage. We just need the ball away. Mo Salah, okay. Run, Mo, run. It's like Forrest Gump. You can do it. Get inside. Ugh! Lost the ball. I'm so tense. I'm so tense. I don't know why I've become so invested in this match, but I just am. Oh, somebody get that. Somebody get that. Okay, that's Loris's. That's Loris's. Okay. I'll say Chamberlain. Firmino now. Oh, he's through. He's through here now, Roberto. Firmino! Taking some silly touches with the ball there. Ooh! Tackle! Oh, that's a foul. just want to win the ball back. I just don't like not having it at this stage in the game. Oh, nice. Well, keep it. 
Keep the ball! Keep the ball! Out. Is that a goal kick? No, I think that's full time. Is it? That is full time. Thank you very much. 3-2. You know, a slightly a slightly difficult win in the end. You know, it wasn't as, as clear-cut as I would have liked it to be when we went 3-1 up in the first half. But Liverpool held their nerves spectacularly there, spectacularly there in the second half to see out the three points. A pivotal three points in the ongoing race for the top four and a pretty decent performance all round as well. So that is all for today's video. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. I'll be back on Sunday after Liverpool have hopefully replicated that result and beaten Southampton at St Mary's. Until then, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button if you're new around here. Check out some of the other videos that have been out on the channel over the past few days as well. Don't forget to like LFC Focus TV on Twitter and I'll see you in a couple days for the post-match video after the Southampton game. Bye for now.